fifth grade lesson 19 and this is division facts okay now let me write up here one division fact as you probably already know 12 divided by 3 so when you see a, um, a problem written like this okay basically let me show you this I'm gonna use a different color to show you the difference okay that is saying three times what, you're going to put your answer here, three times what equals this number in the middle. Okay? Can you think three times what equals 12? Uh, four. Very good. Okay? So our answer would be four. That would be our answer. Okay? Let's try another one. This says 20 divided by 4. And what that's saying is 4 times what equals 20? 5. Very good. Okay? So you would always write your answer. So this is 4 times 5 equals 20. See how you would see? Okay? Now, let me show you this one. Last one, I want you to do this one on your paper. This is saying 3 times what? equals 18. Um, you don't actually have to write this. It's just our, our indicator like what I'm doing. 18, 18. Oh, Remember that 16. one? 16. Six. Very good. Six is our answer. So three times six equals 18. So our answer would be six. Okay? Now I'm just using this times mark right here just to remind me what I'm supposed to do. Okay, Eli? Try this one. Okay, as I was saying, 10, we're gonna to try to go into 80. So I'm asking myself, 10 times what equals 80? Now this one's easy because we know that we're working kind of like with dimes. So how many dimes, how many tens would I need to equal 80? Eight. eight of them. Very good. So our answer would have been eight on that one. Very good. All right, last problem of this lesson. All right, and here's what they're asking me to do. To write two multiplication facts. We're doing a fact family with multiplication and division. Okay? So you're going to write two multiplication facts and two division facts. So watch this. We're going to use um, three numbers, 5, 6, and 30, to make a fact family. Now, I'm going to do this one for you so you can see, but you'll have a problem in your lesson practices, okay? So this is going to be 5 times 6 equals 30. That's one multiplication fact, but they want me to do two. So I'm just going to change the numbers around. 6 times 5 equals 30, okay? So now I've got two multiplication facts. Now I'm going to do two division facts, okay? 30 divided by 5 equals 6, yeah? And 30 divided by 6 equals 5. See how I did that? Okay. So those are three different, or I'm sorry, four different ways that we're using these three numbers to answer that problem. Okay. So that's lesson 19.